Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with some bargain fails and I have an assortment of products, some from the Dollar Tree and some from you know the drugstore, of different products that I tried that just didn't work. They either, you know, were just kind of meh or they were pretty awful. So I thought I'd share them with you guys so that you don't make the same mistake and purchase these and save you some time and money. So I'm gonna get started with some of the Dollar Tree products particularly. The first one is this Notre Advanced Lubricating Honey and Oatmeal Lotion. And if you look at this one, it's a very large bottle, so it looks like it would be a very good value. Um, but it has fragrance, like, very, very high on the list. If you look at the list of ingredients, it's up there right away. So that's kind of a downside immediately. Um, it does have some natural ingredients. It has honey in it, which is kind of a good thing. But it... One of the main ingredients that it uses for moisturizing is mineral oil, which I feel like it just kind of sits on your skin and it doesn't actually absorb in. And that's exactly the kind of result I had with this. The actual texture of the lotion is pretty thin. So um, when, you, when you spread it around, you get this kind of greasy almost effect from the mineral oil and it just kind of sits there. It, although it smells great and you get a large quantity of this, I don't think it's worth the money, particularly because it doesn't really have a good moisturizing effect. It just kind of sits there. You feel like you've put something on your skin, but it doesn't feel like it actually, you know, does anything to maintain your moisture. So definitely skip that one. The second one would be this tea tree oil foot scrub. And this is also from the Dollar Tree. This one has some natural ingredients in it. I'm going to show you guys the texture so you can see it. It does have walnut shell, and if you see the little brown specks in it, that's supposed to be the exfoliant. Um, so it has walnut shell, it has tea tree oil, and it also has camphor in it. So it gives you that kind of antibacterial effect, um, you know, which is a great thing when you're trying to work with your feet. But unfortunately, the scrubbing bit, which is the walnut shell, I don't think is particularly effective. I feel like if you did use this, it would be for the tea tree only um, basically, you the exfoliating part of it is not very helpful. You probably have to use some sort of you know exfoliating um, scrubber to actually get a good effect. So I would definitely skip this one. The next one is probably the worst out of the bunch, and this is the Skin Nutrition's Youth Perfecting Intensive Moisturizer, and this is the step three. It's part of a three-step series, and if you guys want a really in-depth review of all the products in this particular one, check out Jen from Spake with Twang. Um, I actually was discussing this particular one with her, and it did horrible, horrible things to our skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the texture so you can get a good idea. It has this very pink dyed, heavily fragranced kind of smell. And it, it does smell kind of perfumey, not in a pleasant way, I don't think. So um, I actually, you know, looked at the ingredients and it does have some ingredients that you would think would be beneficial, like grapeseed oil, shea butter. Um, but unfortunately, right in the list, probably number three is mineral oil. And it did the same thing that this lotion here did basically where it just sits there when I put this on my skin you know the the smell is kind of eh, uh, but it sat there and it just really didn't do anything it never soaked into my skin and I used this for two days I kid you not only two days was how long this took before my skin broke out I actually had a huge series of breakouts after two days of using this and I hadn't changed anything else in my skincare routine so I got breakouts all along here and I got one in here and I also got some in my neck and I'm still kind of, kind of recovering from it um, and also left you know some kind of darkness from the breakouts like right in here so I would definitely skip this and if you look at uh, Jen's video I'll link it down below she was talking about the same problem that she had she actually had breakouts here breakouts down her neck breakouts in her mouth region same areas so this has this kind of, um, you know, poor clogging effect. It's not actually very good for moisturizing, nor is it good for keeping your skin clear. And I don't usually have too many problems with breakouts, so definitely avoid this one. I would. This is like the plague. Don't don't go near that one. And another one, which is from the Dollar Tree too, um, is this organic wear. Uh, natural origin press powder and translucent light organics and this is from Physicians Formula and I was actually super excited to try this out particularly because Physicians Formula usually has a really great reputation and the packaging is great I mean it's very very cute it comes with a little mirror and it also comes with an extra like a little brush and I used both the brush and the 
your product itself to test it out. So, does it actually keep your skin looking pretty matte? Yes, I do think it's successful in that. But the downside with this particular one is that it has a very strong smell and it's not a pleasant smell. And I'm having a hard time placing what the particular smell is. But it's, it's just not pleasant. And every time I use this on my face, I feel like, you know, I'm having kind of like that, no, oh, what's that smell kind of thing. So I, I would definitely, if you are not a fan of fragrances, even though this is a natural organic type of, you know, product, it, the kind of the, the smell that it leaves behind is not pleasant. So I would definitely skip this one as well. I don't think that the pressed powder effect is enough to kind of make up for the smell. So that's a skip for me. Another one is actually a, you know, a Walmart particularly fine um, drugstore based, and this is this CoverGirl face brush. And this is one that they sell for, I think it's $7. It's just a very large flat top kabuki brush. And I bought this because, you know, I didn't have a large face brush at the time, and I needed something to kind of like do an all over powder for my face. And I thought, okay, CoverGirl's usually pretty good with their products, but this one I definitely have to say is a fail. Uh, it, the bristles, while they are, you know, they keep their shape really well and the color really well, unfortunately it's very, very prickly. So for $7, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to invest in like a nice e.l.f. face brush for, you know, $3 somewhere in that region and use that instead because this is just too prickly and I actually, it just sits there because I don't like using it. So definitely a skip. And the last one is actually from Avon. Um, I've been using the Avon's uh, shower gel and this is the Avon Naturals Cherry Blossom. And I've been using up the Skin So Soft Signature Silk as well. So I test some different Avon products, particularly because I love their night cream that they have. Um, so I picked up some of these to try. And unfortunately, I'm not happy with them. I used up this one, but it wasn't my favorite. So my problem with this is that, as you can tell, it's very, very watery, guys. So super, super watery. And unfortunately, it doesn't produce, I don't think, a good enough lather, you know, to feel very clean. And even if you skip the lather issue, I feel like you have to use quite a bit of this to actually feel clean. So it doesn't feel like, you know, it's very good with the cleaning aspect of it. And I think the price is, you know, a little bit higher than what it should be for something like this. So this is along the lines of the quality of like one of the, the Dollar Tree ones, but without, you know, the Dollar Tree price, unfortunately. So... If you guys are ever thinking about trying these, I would skip it. I just don't think it's worth the money. So, those are the products that I found recently that I just thought were not worth the money. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these reviews. And if you guys want more of that in depth review with some of the skincare products from this, you know, um, check out the link I'll leave down below as well. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.